We are having a no rules, no tracking, no weighing, no measuring, dirty, lazy keto week. So check out what I ate. Good morning. It's Monday at 7.30 and it is a no rules week. We are not intermittent fasting or tracking or weighing or measuring anything. We are listening to our bodies and right now my body says that it's kind of hungry from everything I ate yesterday but that it is ready for some coffee. So we're going to make my caramel coffee and add a scoop of this chocolate collagen. Let's have a good week. All right, this morning it is 10.20 and I was not in the mood for breakfast this morning. I had this salad that I didn't want to go bad and I had this ground beef that was left over and I didn't want it to go bad, so I decided to use up some leftovers to make a taco salad. It's got tomatoes and onions and a little bit of bell pepper and cucumbers on the salad, very fresh looking. I grated a little bit of cheese. I have no idea how much because I didn't... Uh, weigh or measure or track anything. I did do two tablespoons of the salsa and one tablespoon of the light sour cream because it was easy to measure because the spoon was right there. But this is my lunch for breakfast. It is a second cup of coffee day today. It is 1 p.m. I'm going in with a cup of coffee with a splash of heavy whipping cream and a squirt of chocolate stevia with my sugar-free whipped cream on top. And this is going to give me my little afternoon pick-me-up. I took this out for dinner tonight. It is a skirt steak. We have fajita peppers in the freezer and we are either going to have a fajita salad, but I already had a salad today. So I may just have the meat and I may do cauliflower Spanish rice or I may just have the meat, peppers and guacamole. I'm not exactly sure, but skirt steaks tonight. I went ahead and put a few slices in a bowl. I'm going to top it with some fajita peppers and a holy guacamole cup and some light sour cream. Was that the roughest one mile that I've done? I did it in 20 minutes and 29 seconds, burned 80 calories, and I did one mile. And that's all I got in me today. Tuesday. It is day two of my no rules week. We are not tracking. We are not counting. We are not stressing. <laughs> We're not doing any of those things that we've been doing for the past few months. We are literally taking a diet break, but not like the technical term of a diet break. We're just taking a diet break mentally from all of the obsession of crunching numbers this week. You know, and I was thinking that maybe I shouldn't even weigh myself until month 24 update um, and do the measurements and the weighing then. I mean, I really think it would be a nice um, thing to do after weighing myself every single day for the past few months, you know, to kind of not track, not weigh, not measure, and then not even weigh myself. So we'll see, we'll see. I mean, I don't know if I can, stand to be to go that long without weighing myself considering it became a habit but I'm gonna try my birthday is next week we are planning a date night at a Brazilian steakhouse out of town which is like keto heaven because it's gonna have tons of protein options more than likely I will be over indulging that weekend but not in like full sugar carby items like more than likely I'll probably have some kind of keto dessert made from a keto bakery uh, and definitely keep things keto when I go out to eat so I've been breaking my fast a little bit earlier yesterday and today just because this is a no rules week so I didn't want to already start off with making 
making myself adhere to a 16-8 intermittent fasting schedule. But um, I had my coffee earlier today. I am probably going to eat my breakfast. It's about 9.40, so I'm gonna eat my breakfast a little bit earlier than I normally eat it. But what I, one of the things that I noticed yesterday, and I just wanted to touch on it, if you saw, we moved our treadmill, or we got another treadmill, and we put it inside of our guest room. And I hadn't been on a treadmill in, well, I mean, I guess not that long ago. I had done the one that was in the garage, but I hadn't gone to the gym, and I hadn't been taking walks regularly and so yesterday oh my god it killed me it about killed me just to do one mile on that treadmill i could barely squeeze out 21 minutes at a very low pace without my chest and my heart beating out of my chest so that's okay, you know, I, I really want to kind of start building my fitness, my endurance, uh, my cardio up, start lifting more weights without the stress of what is it gonna say on the scale. So I'm gonna get back to working out here at home. I'm I'm probably gonna get back into the gym once the kids go to summer camp uh, a few days out of the week and then not try and kill myself. I, in the beginning I was doing five days a week and this time I kind of want to start off slow and maybe do like three times times a week, you know, and trying to ease into it. This is a journey and I'm a work in progress and I'm trying to find a way that I could sustain this lifestyle and this healthy version of myself forever and ever and ever. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to start making breakfast and then we'll see what the rest of the day looks like. Breakfast today is chorizo, egg, and cheese on low-carb tortillas. Haven't had this in a while. Tonight's dinner is a cob salad. I have some leftover chicken. Well, I have one leftover chicken thigh, a boiled egg, a couple of slices of bacon, some blue cheese, some tomato, and lettuce. First meal of the day is a fajita steak and uh, pepper omelet with sour cream, guacamole, and salsa. We have a little bowl of some Faye yogurt with sola granola and a few Lily's chocolate chips. All right, it is not a fancy dinner tonight. I just have a hamburger patty with two slices of cheese. I believe one is Swiss and one is provolone. I have a sauce on it that is a mayo, mustard, and sugar-free ketchup mixture. And I made some deviled eggs for all of us to share. All right, first meal of the day. It is 10.17 and I am eating two low-carb tortillas because it's a no-rules week. And I have chorizo, egg, and cheese tacos. Or Totally stuff. This is a small salad plate, but it gives you an idea on how super stuffed this is. And I'm gonna enjoy every bite. Tonight's dinner is zoodles. I made a chicken in a sun-dried tomato cream sauce with asparagus. I topped this dish off with some shredded Parmesan cheese, and it is so delicious. Caesar and I snuck away for a little lunch date today. Fajitas, peppers, guacamole, Michelob Ultra. Can't go wrong with a beer in the middle of the afternoon, right, honey? <laughs> we always get a side of guacamole with our plate. We don't eat the rice. I eat very little of the beans. So good.
So this week I was living my best keto life. Like I said, I didn't track anything, didn't weigh, didn't measure. I had the things that I did not allow myself to have for the past few months. Maybe some sugar-free ketchup, maybe some low-carb tortillas, maybe some treats here and there, an extra cup of coffee, things that would stress me out uh, if I was tracking that I wouldn't normally allow myself to have low carb beer, all those things. Um, so like I said, I'm not going to weigh myself this week. So there is no weigh in. I'm just going to continue to live my best life. Next week is my birthday week. And so I'm going to show you how I spent my keto birthday. Um, and that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As you can see, I'm so much happier and less stressed out. And if that means carrying a couple of extra pounds because I lived my best keto life this week, then I will take it because releasing all of that that I was carrying on my shoulders is a nice reward. So that's where I am today. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, make sure to leave me a comment and let me know how your week is going or if there was anything in my week that you want to comment on. I'd love to hear about it. Post it in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.